All right, we're back with one of my personal favorite times of the weekend morning show. Paws on the Ground Colorado joins us. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. And can you tell us who you brought today? This is Beaujolais. Beaujolais. Ooh. And this is Bordeaux. Oh, They're yes. from the French wine litter. There's, we have one other, but these two happen to be fostered at my home. Um, don't ever let them tell you you can't get a purebred dog <laughs> and rescue. These guys are two purebred um, standard poodles, mm -hmm. wow. and they are five months old. We actually have a birth date. They were born September 22nd. Oh. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, these dogs are absolutely beautiful, and you know, they're kind of tall for only being five months old, but these dogs are actually gonna grow to be, I guess, pretty, pretty big dogs. Yeah, they're yeah. going to be large dogs. Mm -hmm. um, they would do great, and their temperament is amazing. They have sweet. quite a bit of energy, um, as they are puppies. Yes. But they love to snuggle. They're very oh. gentle, <laughs> very smart. They make great hiking dogs. Um, as with all poodles, they're going to need a lot of grooming. Mm -hmm. um, they do not shed a lot, yeah. although all dogs shed a little, at least a little. Okay. If right. not. Um, a lot, you know, like a husky. But. Yeah. And Bo just here got neutered? Yep, yeah. they're neutered, they're up to date on their vaccinations, and they're microchipped. And they're so sweet. So uh, what kind of home would they be best in? Would they be good in a home with another dog? or? Yeah, they love other yeah. dogs. Um, mm -hmm. They're actually fine with cats. Oh, my hand. And kids, they could pretty much go with any home that's willing to take the time and uh, um, understand, again, their grooming needs and their exercise needs. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Cats. Yeah, kids for sure. I mean, yeah. these are the so sweet. These are good dogs. With really kids. are. And Paws on the Ground, a foster based organization, yes. what are you guys in need of right now? <sighs> like any, all rescues now, we need fosters and we need donations. Mm -hmm. um, an example, we currently have a Parvo puppy mm -hmm. that made it through. He's oh, on boy. the mend. But it's expensive to treat them. Thank yes. You. Um, so obviously, we could use donations. If anyone goes out to our website, www.pawsonthegroundco.org, go to donations. We also have a wish list on Amazon, so we could use food, um, anything on the wish list, obviously money, um, gift cards, anything to help take care of the animals. Um, with our foster homes, we provide everything, so crates, food, collar, all the vetting, um, everything they need. And um, also with our foster homes, we get our fosters on board and then high kill shelters reach out to us asking and we put them out and, and hope a foster steps up to take one of them. But they get to choose based on dogs in need mm -hmm. who they take home. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for sharing this information with us. We hope that our beautiful French poodles are able to be adopted very soon. For those of you who are interested in doing so, you can reach out to Paws on the Ground Colorado, and they can do that by reaching out to what phone number or email address? Um, the email address is POTG, okay. Paws on the Ground, at pawsonthegroundco.org. <laughs> um, the best thing to do, though, is to go to the website and fill out an application first and foremost. Okay. Our whole thing is to try to match um, people based on, you know, time and everything that they need with the dog that they apply for. Oh, so. Excellent. So pause on the ground, Colorado, the website. Thank you guys so much for being here. I don't want to get off the ground.